subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon for the latest film interviews, features and recommendations on the movies that matter. Meera Nair, thank you for joining me from your home in New York. I can only imagine what it must be like waking up to the news of Irfan's passing. Uh, your, your, your immediate thoughts, Meera? Well, I, I sadly went to bed with the knowledge that he was fighting for his life. And um, so it was a very heavy morning um, to wake up to somehow knowing that it could happen. Yeah. And um, I yeah. felt, you know, I, it was it was double because, because Irfan had lost his mother just 10 days ago and he was t very close to her and to not be able to see her must have broken his heart. Uh, and also we knew what was eating him, but, and we knew this was coming, but it is really uh, like, like somebody put a stone on my heart and, and on the heart of cinema, frankly. Right. Because right. Um, right. he was a rare flame, you know, who, who um, somehow, you know, was, so thoughtful and funny about life and kind of, I think of him as someone who knew he had something extraordinary and he took care of it. He didn't just fritter it away. He, his talent is in, in everything he has done. And it, but the early, I, I'm, I've been thinking the, this whole morning of even the early years and the struggling years. Yeah. yeah. But I don't remember him ever giving up, you know, ever not believing that he had something to do in the world, you know, yeah. but wow, yeah. what he did and the human being he taught us to be, uh, I just feel so, I just wish I was uh, with all of you in, in Bombay and with, with, with everyone that loved him because it's very hard to be alone in times like this, being for his family, for Shutapa, for the children, I, I just, it's it's not something I wish on any. Of course, yeah. Mira, had you had a had you had an opportunity to be in touch with him through the last two years? Why were you yes. were you able to be in touch? Yes, yes, yes. I spent a day with him in London in uh, a year and a half ago when he was going through the rounds of treatment, and. Uh, and since then, you know, as I really also, I, I've been speaking to him last, uh, about August till August through October, and through Shutava mostly, but yeah. uh, also yeah. through Irfan, because, you know, he, you know, just, uh, he always loved to know what was going on, and and about the Surur boy also, I kept, you know, I said, Jovi, you boli, anything he wanted to do, and I was trying to, plan something that he could was not strenuous enough for him so he could also have the maza as he wanted but it it was too strenuous and um you know so yes i did uh, but um, yeah. and i was i was stunned rajiv because when we when i spent the day with him uh, in in 2018 in 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 london i i thought i was going to you know hold his hand at a at a bedside Right. And instead, yeah. we had this lunch systematically ordered, you know, and he ate it really well with avocados and legs and very careful. And he was very dapper in, in different shades of pink linen and, uh, and uh, you know, kind of keeping a charm with the waitress. And, and then my friend came in on a bicycle and he just wanted to jump onto the bicycle. He just had to have a little bike ride down yeah. the block yeah. in, in Camden. And it was, uh, that's Irfan, you know, you expect one thing and something, he's just a, he, he was always a child, you know, like about life. And yeah. and the way yeah. he spoke about, uh, you know, living and uh, how he, you know, he says, Sala, it's not time waste, kia. you know, kya kharab pe? And iska kya hai? what is the meaning of all that? This is what it's about, you know, and but but with the same life in his eyes. Right, right, right. So what a lovely spent, last memory to have. What a beautiful yeah. last memory to have. Yeah. I have a picture. I was seeing it just today of him on the bicycle, of him yeah. get getting on the bike, looking pasty a little bit, kimo shimo hora, but he wasn't going to 
it was remarkable really it was so not what i thought i would spend the day doing you know but irfan uh, was uh, really extraordinary and he uh, yeah hard to think know. of him in the past yeah yeah, yeah. mira you of course discovered him in a sense you spotted him at yeah. nsd when you were casting salam bombay yeah. and you uh, you you decided to cast him as salim of course um yeah. but that didn't quite happen did it yeah well uh, yes i was on the prowl and i went to the basements where they were doing a, ba- a workshop uh in nsd and and I, ifan was 18 years old and he that gangly kind of praying mantis type body you know ganji banyan type he was and and that look he has uh, uh you know very particular uh, and even as a young man he was hooded eyed and kind of intense and uh, i just asked him uh, would you w- and and also he looked like he was not anxious to please you know uh, he he had uh, a kind of and he just had that uh, whatever you call it uh, kind yeah. of enigma in him and wonderful uh, in, and anyway i asked him and he he came out of nsd stayed with me in an empty flat in sangam building in pedder road where i rented this three bedroom uh, kids stayed there irfan me and the cinematographer and uh, five months and we did this workshop together everything with the street kids of bombay you know and but irfan was like literally double in height Correct. to any kid on the street right. literally was double so he just didn't fit into the frame of a actual street chat you know yeah. and he knew yeah. that too and so the only role that he could play uh, apart from that in in salam bombay was the one the scene writer. let scribe that beautiful scene sunni had written uh, yeah. uh of chaipa writing a letter home and the, the scribe taking the money and not sending the letter and not sending that and letter yeah so, Ah, he was the scribe and and I owed him since then you know right. and yeah. and any time I could think of something great for him he was you know from the little ones like new york i love you but the big one migration yeah migration anything you know yeah. uh yeah. and he did anything he played a gay man he played yeah. uh he played uh, you know a uh, jain dweller uh, 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 such an orthodox jain you know okay. who falls in you know who has an erotic you Good know fancy yeah. Yeah. and uh, yeah. uh, and wonderful and and he had a real sense of humor you know a real not just a sense of humor but also perfect comic timing with a great sex appeal that was absolutely inimitable like yeah. he didn't pretend yeah. to be anyone else and he was no one else you know yeah. and that yeah. makes you sexy that makes you really kind of who's that guy you know yeah. and that's uh, yeah. irfan had that too <laughs> plus everything you know else that he was so thoughtful and processed in a way and never changed you know whether he was on the uh, red carpet or whether he was just like shopping for shirts and or whether he was you know really seeing through a lot of bull that is our industry yeah. sab kuch tha sab kuch you of course went on to fulfill that promise when you cast him uh, as as the lead in namesake you kept your promise you told him i'll, I'll make it up to you and you did yes. you cast him as ashok Thank ganguly you. and and it's yeah. one of his it's one of his finest performances you know you gave him the great parts and he gave you the great performances thank you it uh, i i know and and i was so grateful that 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 happened and uh, and you know we all got together to make this very special film from jumpa lahiri and sunita raporwala's beautiful screenplay and and the whole the production everything it was just very much exactly what i wanted and at the heart of it were irfan and tabu and and uh, kalpen and all uh, you know people who really for whom the story mattered yeah you know so i i feel also you know that kuch badhiya kaam hum log ne kiya and irfan ne to zaruri kiya har waqt but i also feel that there was so much to do more to do you know and and um, but and it's very difficult to not be able to uh, to be in my little room you know and just think about him and but there are the movies yeah. and there is yeah. fun and there is the great 
eye he i mean the great eye he had you know he was always a man of the common he was always of the common people it was this beautiful you know there are scenes in the namesake which are which are and appropriately considered some of his some of his best performances there is that beautiful moment where he takes little gogol to the jetty and he yeah. tells him remember this remember this because they forget they forgotten the camera in the car uh and yes. and, little, and he asks him will you remember this and little gogol says how long do i have to remember it for and then he says that beautiful dialogue um and you know my favorite scene in that film actually is the telephone call that he makes to uh, ashima uh, which yes. is of course after which of course uh, the, the film changes and that's the big turning point do you have memories of 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 that film particularly because it really did you know you um it it's interesting how you'll have this relationship where of course you put him on screen for the first time in salam bombay and then mm-hmm. you sort of set off the 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 american career because that was the film yeah. that uh, that that got him noticed in america and that's the film yeah. that set off the hollywood career life of, yeah life of pi and all of that yeah, yeah. i was just actually uh, raji this moment i was just I, we wrote a here it is we wrote a beautiful book uh, right. on the making of the namesake but through the photographs that inspired it and and i was just uh, staring at him today because it was you know it was that scene you're talking that about scene, yeah it's hard it yeah. breaks your heart it just yeah. yeah and that was based on a famous photograph by by gary winogrand and 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 anyway i so I, we framed him like that but the way you know uh you know because he just it's like it's like oceans are within ifan yeah and he just has that type of almost the stillness at that moment of really in the, in this this role i mean i guess it's different for different characters sure. but yeah. that we he yeah. just allows you to witness that ocean inside him yeah. and that's yeah. that's not done through um only through technique you know that's something yeah and It's something great yeah yeah something yeah. great and 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 something something honest yeah. you know and yeah. yeah so we are we were privileged to have him on this world in this earth and in cinema seriously and he did thankfully left some amazing things that will will be seen for generations you know and a beautiful family who were just you know whom he really um like as a you know right. he really protected yeah protected for for a long time and and so you know i i we spoke with your casting director nandini shrikant and she described she described your relationship with irfan as an almost umbilical connection she said they have an almost umbilical connection Oh well, that is an honor. Yeah, I, I, did I did I tell you what his mom told me? I heard about that, but please tell, please tell. <laughs> it was so uh, you know it was at the premiere of the namesake in Bombay, and and uh, he he was pointing me out to his mom at the premiere, and she, he said, "Wo meri director hai, Meera Nair." And then she said to him, "Usko bula, usko bula." Uh, क्या कोई किसी और नहीं मिला कातिल करने का उनकी पिक्चर में मेरे बेटे भी चले कोई यू नो उनको ही ढूंढा आपने एंड इट वाज जस्ट हिलेरियस एंड वी वर शी वाज यू नो फनी बट एक्चुअली टेलिंग मी ऑफ यू नो राइट फॉर द आई फेल्ट सो यू नो एनीवे सो या मी नो व्हाट आई मीन इट्स इट्स लवली टू हैव दैट एनीवे बट but we didn't um we didn't we yes we did have some sort of um some sort of con- a connection which did not require a lot of talk you know right. and right. Uh, uh, but there was a real communion that i am absolutely so grateful for and from the beginning i think we both have known each other uh since we, when we were both like starting you know and with the yeah. world ahead of us and and not like one was in the position of knowing and the other was not and somehow that friendship and cha- stayed you know so i would we would 
speak to each other without necessarily thinking of work you know and um, actually i um, it was very sad rajiv because a year ago uh, my good friend um, alejandro inaritu called me in delhi over many weeks uh, we, he was trying to cast a lead in his new film who had to be a kind of every man i think he described him as um so obviously i spoke of irfan and and we were speaking about and we were you know he was all, everyone knew that he was ill and we were talking about that and you know but i also think that he irfan has inspired a lot of actors from his own cloth you know that that will carry that flame because uh it's again now beyond beyond the chocolate boy uh, you right. know it's again back into the great what you carry with you know the great actor the great performer you know who yeah. can be yeah. as, as from anywhere you know right. so i've right. had great privilege like that with the suitable boy but um i'll you know be always very thankful for my time with his family you know before before we go uh, i i have to ask um what are the what are what is the what is the one enduring memory that you have of working with irfan um the last memory of course is that beautiful memory of him getting on that bike in london um expecting him expecting to see an unwell irfan and seeing a man who is keeping his spirits up uh, what would be yeah. the enduring memory from working with him well there are many but i was taken aback that irfan's coming to new york to play ashok ganguly in the namesake was the first time he had ever come to america right right so the i think two or three months that we spent together here through different seasons um it was very beautiful to see him to walk side by side with him just living our lives as mm. we prepared for the film but him obs- really like observing american life um yeah. in a kind of uh, two ways you know excitedly for 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 uh, just knowing a new thing yeah. really yeah. like a child about a cafe or a or a view or you know or a Uh, museum sometimes uh but but also totally really always in observation as to what ashok ganguly would be seeing it's, it's like so happy so happy that his actual experience was like ashok's and so he so he you know so i i think of him really as always in a um place of almost uh not meditation as much as observation like right. you know right. with us and within without us and that mm-hmm. was pretty much uh when i think of him here in these times uh it yeah. was like that um but i i think i've spoken a lot so you now No. thank you for this thank you for thank you for opening your heart thank you for sharing very personal memories and and you know i think it's it's really true the the film that you did with him especially the name sick um it it's going to live much longer and we are and we're going to be able to take a look at it and sort of marvel at the the magic that that man created thank you for that wonderful film but thank, thank you for speaking to us so so beautifully uh, i can I, i can only imagine what you're going through thank you so much at a time like this thank you thank you all right. thank you so much